Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, so today, um, not today, we have been trying to upgrade our home theater. So previously I used to have a 100 inch uh, screen right on that wall. Um, and it used to be like till there. Um, so this is how it used to look. There, um, all the way till there. And I used to have a Sony 1080p projector. Now uh, me and Mana decided to upgrade um, this, go a bigger size screen and uh, get a 4K projector uh, that is gonna go on the roof. So what, what we are doing, and right now you're seeing a pristine brand new wall. This was not this way. There were like so many holes in the wall because they took out, took out my um, old screen and they actually, um, move the speaker so that it can align to the center of the, the seating area this is that place so it can get wider and also i have a 7.2.2 dolby atmos so which is in ceiling speakers so i just wanted to make sure that they align together so we decided to move keep that speaker where it is and move the speaker along and move the center so they did cut the drywall um, out they moved the speakers out and this wall was a mess thanks to Vanna's talent. She was able to do um, drywall sanding and whatever needs to be done and she also painted it. So it looks beautiful now. Anyways, coming back. Anyways, so um, what we are doing is uh, we are upgrading to uh, SI Pure Gray 133 inch screen and then also we are upgrading a projector from Sony 1080p one which was like seven years old to a brand new LS12000 Epson, which is a 4K. It's not a native 4K, but it's, it's it upgrades and it, it does give a, a very good um, picture quality as well as one of the other reasons I wanted to go to that projector is because we Ayush, I gifted, you guys might have seen in previous videos that we gifted Ayush an Xbox. That projector supports gaming and it has a high refresh rate and also it outputs around 2700 lumens which is going kind of really nice because the quality of the picture um, and also the lag gets reduced when you're playing a game. So all in all, um, you see that can, that's where the wirings, all that stuff was going in. They're gonna put a projector there. So gonna, they're gonna pull the wiring inside. It was a big project, still a um, lot to come because our projector got shipped recently uh screen has already shipped so we are waiting for those i think by 23rd we'll have those and i will show you guys once that is installed one more thing we did um basically was to upgrade um our internet um, routers and whatnot because we were sitting on a very old router so what we did is we went to arachnus uh what is this ovrc enabled network um, router it's in it's a big here is the number that's a series um uh, but yeah what this did is i was surprised actually so when we got this house built that was seven years ago the technology was not that good so they put only one access point around the house and I used to have a lot of dropped internet at that point of time. So it was kind of really um, icky, I would say, internet. So they put new access points throughout the house. So there's one here, there's one on the main level, and there's one in the bedroom level. Now, guess how much I get? 500 Mbps any given point of time. So uploading YouTube videos have become twice as fast than used to be. Even the rendering happens super fast. So that is a plus plus and all. Now, uh, me and Vanna were just here and talking that we, the next project we wanna do is basically get this wall out, move it all the way back, um, move that wall to this place so that we can extend that, rip that platform out, move it backwards and extend it because what happened is, this is again ignorance, when we bought this house, this platform, we built it, thinking of we're gonna put chairs and everything. Um, guess what? The recliners do not fit on that wall, that wide, so it has to be properly done. So finally, the day has come. They have bought, um, got my screen, the new projector and whatnot. So um, you can see here, there is the screen material. That's the Epson uh, LS12000 Pro Cinema projector. 
So they're going to be installing that and I'm going to be walking you guys uh, through with the process today. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here before I commit to installing it on the ceiling, okay. I'm going to install it on my ladder roughly or really close to where it's okay. going to make sure that we're always good. Firm, that we're yeah. good with that. I'm more concerned about They're the wall. corner. Yeah. That's, that's everything else I think is going to so be So this, so we have a problem and we started building this basement. There's a bedroom behind this and there is a closet which came out which was totally unexpected did not realize that that's going to be everything is going to be a straight wall and that wall is a pain because our screen is going to end there that's like a four feet three feet wall yeah three feet wall and then epson this is ls 12000 like i was saying and that needs to be 18 and a half feet away for the throw to happen on that 133 three inches of screen so that's what Russell is talking about, the struggle. So he's gonna try to adjust that based on the throw because if that goes close to the wall, the throw is gonna be probably, you know, that is gonna be falling on that edge. So we, we won't avoid that piece. It's big. Well, that's not even all of it. There's still a trunk that goes on the back. Oh, wow, okay. But that's nice because it hides all the connections then, too. So. That is true. Yeah. And you need to tell me how to where the filters come on the side, or I, I know I'm pretty okay. sure on the side, yeah, but... I'm not 100% sure on this one. I'll have to look at it. But I did do some Googling, and this filters actually... Um, you can't wash them like Sony filters. Can't? Nope. You can either blow with, like, a, um, a can dry can blower, or just um, buy a new one. That's the plate you're talking about, which goes on the... Oh, nice, okay. What does it do? This is what allows the projector to mount. Mount with the... Okay. So it can sit on its... You know, it's upside down right now. Yep. It can sit on a shelf. Gotcha. If you have that kind of a setup of how yours is going to yep. be in the middle of the room. We attach this plate, and then we attach this to the ceiling, and then this pipe threads into that on That's... the ceiling. The chief mount, right? And then, correct, yeah. and this comes with the projector. That's a good value. That's nice. It's a few hundred dollars for these otherwise. Yep. So that'll be on the ceiling, and then when we go to hang it, these little pins just go in there, and then we just lock it with that lever, and then if we really want to secure it, you can turn it with this key and remove the key. That's interesting. That's more for like commercial applications. Gotcha. We just usually leave the key right in there. Makes sense. And then this has fine tuning adjustments on it. Gotcha. So I know exactly where it's gonna go in relationship to the st Scooby, yeah. structure. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. This is why I work with Russell, the brilliant idea. Instead of putting the projector up, he first settle it down to make sure that it aligns the throw, and then he's gonna take it upstairs as soon as that alignment has happened. How long have you been working on this, Russell? Like in total? Uh, about an hour. No, I mean total experience. <laughs> uh, about 25 years. There we go. That's what that, you can see that, right? So. So finally, the projector is up. Justin is trying to finish the screen. And. I'm worried that this is going to be too short. Oh, which one? Yeah, the wire? That's it. And there's not much going on the other end either. It's almost had to go to the 15 meter. Which would have mean? So if, if we do new surround atmos, then... We're going to just utilize that same tube that I just used to get the projector wipers. Gotcha. Okay, that's what probably it was then. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So finally, the screen is up. This looks um, pretty beautiful, actually. When the picture comes in, I'm super excited to look because mm -hmm. we went from 100 inch to 133 inches, so... We still have to calibrate the projector. Screen is up, that's though. Cool. Thanks cool. to Justin.
he did it all by himself. Hmm. <laughs> My remotes are down, Russell. Yeah. Russell is testing me. <laughs> they are down. They will be for a little while. Take your time. piece of advice from Russell last time not to use Apple TV ever again on these because the problem is the Apple TV pushes so many updates and what I have seen recently it's uh, when they push the update to YouTube every time an ad plays so I don't have a subscription I when I order I play a free YouTube and ad comes in there is always a 10 seconds of black screen and I lose the content which is going in there so I have to rewind back and go back so what we are doing today is we're putting Roku Ultra and the updates on that doesn't happen quite often and actually Roku Ultra handles things much better than Apple does it seems. So that's what is happening right now. We are calibrating, setting up everything. Um, once that is done, we are ready to watch a movie. So finally the setup is done. Now Russell is going to give us a demo of how the remote and everything works. Yeah, so once you just choose Roku, you just get the Roku screen and you just navigate just like you would normally. Oops, sorry. I don't even know how to do it. There we go. Um, so I'll give you the quick Roku tutorial sure. since this is new for your system even though you yes. have the one upstairs. Um, as you see how it says one of 20 items up there. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is navigate to an item. We'll go to... Right. Yep. So here's one of the best things that we love about this remote. Okay. With the Roku, again, very basic controls up here. Mm -hmm. On this side, there's a keyboard, mm -hmm. but it's not touch screen. So it's kind of, yeah, okay, it clicks. Okay. Has to do <laughs> oh, Wait a minute, did they change something? Uh, so that's kind of nothing exciting. And I'm just, these are just page buttons here. But this is what's really cool. And this is what's also important about arranging your apps up there. Okay. When you go over here, it'll mirror however you do it up there. So I can go boom and go to Prime right from here. Damn, that is awesome. And I actually use this at my own house all the time. So if I'm in, let's say, HBO Max and I just got done watching uh -huh. The Last of Us and now you want to go to YouTube to get the episode explained to you. So then I'll go, I just got done watching it. I don't even hit the home icon. I just go boom right to you. The system off. So that just works like normal. And everything shuts down. Apple TV, Roku. Yep, Apple TV, the Roku will go back to the home screen. So even in that yeah, scenario, some of this remote without mm -hmm. even coming out here, we could get rid of that button and we could put a Netflix button, an Amazon button. Basically, any streaming service that's available on the road, gotcha. I can give you a button for. It. How many how many buttons can you apply there? That's what another curiosity I have. I can apply way more than I'm going to, so I I, I, I will tell you no at a certain point. Okay. But there there is no practical limitation. The, gotcha. what, what happens is, you you want me to add thirty buttons, I won't because it'll take you so, so much many longer clicks, yeah. to get yeah. over to that button. So I generally up here. <laughs> so I'm on your Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. And I'm on YouTube. Sure. And I'm going to pull up something I would actually watch. Mm -hmm. So here we go. How about, uh, there we go, a daily show. Sure. Clip. So I'm going to pull up the daily close ship. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, I'd rather watch this on my theater. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit this icon here. And I get all of the things in the house that are available. There's Theater Roku. That was why I had you. Makes sense. That. If you didn't, if she didn't name that, yep. it would just say Roku Ultra, which Makes one is Makes sense, yeah. So that's why it's a really important step. So I'm going to hit that. Now it's going to connect to your system. I have not touched the universal remote control. Gotcha. It will take a second to sort of negotiate and get it all in there. Okay. Now it's going. Now the theater is turning on to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And again, you even look at the remote control. I have not touched the remote control, but it synced up. Synced up. Okay. That makes sense. And there's that video. Hey boy, Cardi B. Creating menu items. Some restaurant owners worry the Cardi B promotion is not compatible with McDonald's decades-long history. How long does it take to? Here we go. Oh, that. Wow, this is way quick than <laughs> yeah, Sony. Yeah, about a minute on those older ones. Oh. Holy cow! Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's really. So that theater is all up and beautiful. The other so finally they have completed the install they have set up everything um 
The screen is up, the projector is up, I should say. That's a, a 4K laser projector. It's not native, it's Epson LS12000, obviously, it's a pixel shifting technology, which is kind of cool because you can adjust uh, to the screen and it upgrades to 4K, and even the screen adjustment can be done using the remote. So that is the best part, because I did not like that not being there on Sony. I hated that piece when I used to change bulbs and whatnot. So I don't have to change bulbs since it's a laser projector. That is the best part of this projector. It's gonna last um, 20,000 hours, give or take 12 years, approximately, even if you watch like four or five hours every day. Um, and this is the new updated rack. What we did is we got the Aisha's Xbox downstairs because this projector again supports gaming. That was one of the reasons I had to go for that projector. So I requested um, Brussel yesterday to like, this is a universal remote. This is, um, <clears throat> this is a customizable um, URC remote. These are again, expensive. I think they're a thousand dollars a piece, but they are really super cool. So I can control everything in the house using this remote. Um, so I requested Russell if there is a way to actually um, like directly access things uh, without even switching on t you know the theater or anything. So he is so good. This is the reason I work with them. Um, he actually set me up with Amazon, Netflix, so um, and YouTube. So I can just by click on that. This is a uh, this is a touchpad. So if I can click on it, it'll just go to prime there um and it pops up it it just launches everything this is the reason um i work with halston so if you guys are in the minnesota area highly recommended people i've been since my house was built the day we designed everything they did all our pre-wiring and everything so just amazing people to work with especially mike he so, they will just amazing people if you guys are interested, you know, if you're building a home theater or anything, highly recommend it. Halston Entertainment, I think they're located in Golden Valley. I'll leave the link, um, their link in the description below. Uh, overall, that's the end probably of this video. If you have liked it, give us a thumbs up, um, like, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching till the end. I appreciate your time.